Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sara and I have been doing a little bit of thrifting to update my wardrobe for autumn and of course I want to share all of those pieces with you today. And I thought we would start off with, you know, trousers, move on to dresses and then move on to tops and then finally more, you know, blazers and outerwear sort of things. So the first thing that I want to share with you today is a pair of denim trousers that I picked up in this lovely sort of beigey creamy colour. And I'm someone who loves a pair of trousers that are high-waisted and very wide-legged, which these are. Now I know that's not everyone's taste and that is absolutely fine, uh, but it's something that I enjoy. I also don't have anything similar in, you know, in a more structured denim in my wardrobe. I have a lot of suit trousers in this sort of colour, but nothing in a denim. However, I did thrift these online and even though like style-wise they are absolutely perfect, they are sadly a little bit too small, so sadly I will be returning these and I will keep on searching for something similar with a better fit. And these were from uh, Leendex and I will be making sure that I pop the brands and the prices of everything on the screens in case you are curious while you continue watching the thrift haul. <laughs> these next trousers, however, I am super, super excited about because it is a pair of black linen trousers and I have been searching for this since, you know, the beginning of summer and I've tried on quite a few pairs to be honest uh, and for different reasons, the, you know, the fit or the size haven't been absolutely right but these, these are perfect. I absolutely love these trousers, they were such a good find and to be honest, you know, we are approaching autumn so maybe I won't be wearing linen trousers just as much but I'm very happy to be adding them to my wardrobe nonetheless and these were just originally from H&M nothing fancy but I absolutely love them Moving on, I picked up a dress that is quite long it is a button-up shirt style dress with long sleeves and a nice collar in just, you know, a cotton blend and this style of dress I do really enjoy wearing, especially to work. And what I like about this one, which is a little bit different compared to my other ones, is that this one is a bit cinched in at the waist. I do have quite a few shirt style dresses that, you know, are just very straight and boxy. But I thought that this one was, you know, just a little bit more feminine, a little bit different. And I really enjoyed the style. Next, I picked up a piece that I thought was going to be absolutely perfect for layering and it is this little turtleneck in a lovely steely grey with quite a high turtleneck that you know you can fold down a couple of times and I picked this one up because it was in a merino wool and I was thinking that this is going to be an absolutely perfect layering piece you know just to wear under maybe under a blazer but I do have one problem with it and because I'm seeing it as a layering piece that is going to be closest to my skin uh, this really is a problem because it is super itchy. Now normally if I have like a sweater that is a little bit itchy I can just wear something underneath but with this being the base layer I can't really wear something underneath uh, so I am going to be returning this one because I got this online as well but um, yeah I can't have an itchy base layer even though it is merino wool so um, I will be returning this one. And if you are enjoying the pieces that I'm showing you so far then make sure that you give this video a little thumbs up and that you hit the subscribe button down below because I do a lot of thrift hauls and styling secondhand uh, fashion and if you like that then um, I think you'll like my channel too. And the next piece that I want to show you is a little knitted cardigan which is originally from Stockholm and I realised that I have a lot of cardigans but I don't have a white cardigan all of them are sort of in a more creamy beige and I do think it is very nice to have a more like crisp white cardigan like I have this cable knit um, but you know in a cardigan style uh, so I picked this one up and I like the style of it I like that it is 100% cotton so it's going to be really nice to wear uh, the only issue that I have with it that I wasn't aware of when I bought it is that the arms are quite short, they're more of like a three-quarter length sleeve, so I'm not really sure if this lives up to my expectations of what I was thinking that I wanted and needed for my wardrobe. So I am considering returning this 
just because, you know, it wasn't exactly what I was looking for and I think I can find something that suits me a little bit better in the future instead. And I realised that this is starting to sound like quite an unsuccessful haul because there are a few pieces that I'm returning, but I promise you the next two pieces I absolutely love and will be keeping, so let me show you. I have recently developed a love for blazers. I really enjoy wearing them. I do wear them to work quite a lot. So I thought it was time that I added a very autumnal blazer to my collection. So this one is from H&M and it's quite a, you know, loose sort of cotton linen style. Uh, so once again, perfect for this transitional season uh, before we are in full autumn. And I actually think that it's the same cut and style as one of my other H&M blazers. I'm pretty sure I haven't checked, you know, the, the product number, but I, they are very similar. However, this one is in a lovely chocolatey dark brown, which also is a huge trend for this season. Um, but to be honest, I can see myself wearing this for many years to come. And I just think this is going to be the perfect layering piece for the upcoming autumn season. I mean, just with, you know, like what I'm wearing at the moment, I think it will make a great outfit. And the next piece that I have to show you is definitely my favorite. I have kept the best for last because it is this absolutely gorgeous blazer, which um, I don't have anything similar to this at all. So I just thought it was a stunning piece and like, have you seen a more autumnal blazer than this? Because like, I haven't. And there are just so many different ways I can see myself styling this blazer now for the upcoming autumn season. And you know, I just think it is absolutely great. And the same as with brown blazer, I can also see myself using this as a coat uh, if I would like to. I just think it is very versatile because you know, it is slightly lined, so it's a little bit warmer. This is originally from Lindex, but I do think it has a couple of years on its neck. Label just looks a little bit older. And with this blazer, I also chose it in a slightly bigger size so that it would be a little bit bigger, a little bit boxier. It is also quite long, which I really like. And I chose a little bit bigger size on purpose because, you know, when autumn really rolls around, I want to be able to wear some thicker knits and um, by having a blazer that is slightly bigger than, you know, I can fit some, some more chunky knitwear on underneath, which I'm really excited about. So that was everything that I picked up from Selfie this time around. Like I said, some keepers, you know, some really great pieces and some not so great pieces. But you know, that's just what it is with thrifting. Some pieces are going to be better than others. And I am really, really excited about the ones that I have decided to keep. So let me know in the comments down below which one was your favourite. And, you know, don't forget to drop me a little like and subscribe if you want to see how I style these pieces now later on in autumn. So thank you very much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. And until then, take care of each other and I'll see you soon. Bye!